All right, so today Eric and Kaya are helping me out with a review of this helmet here, which I very much appreciate because I cannot squeeze my noggin in there. It's just, it's too, <laughs> it's too small. It's just need enough space for all that gray matter, you know? <laughs> yes, so it's very stylish, as you can see. And uh, it's of course very heavy duty, much more so than fencing masks. It's all solid steel. You've got the perforated mesh. How's the fit? It's a little tight, but pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, I actually feel really well contained in here. Mm. I actually went by the sizing on the website and it was supposed to fit, but it's, it's difficult to really nail that precisely. Yeah. I like the magnetic closure on it. Uh, it's apparently temporary. I think they mentioned that they're working on a better version. It seems pretty decent though. Uh, the only concern was apparently that it's, it's not as durable as they like, but um, it's pretty easy to, to use. How do you feel in there, Kai? Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Just out of the blue. All right. <laughs> it, it's got a good amount of padding. And of course, the added weight also helps the thickness of it. So I think I'm going to hit Kai in the head a number of times and slowly ramp up the power until it becomes less than comfortable. Hmm. So. <laughs> I was going to say knock yourself out. Well, <laughs> don't knock him out. <laughs> How was that? That's okay. That's not right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was good. That's about as hard as I would hit normal sparring. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. I am leaving my micro dance in this. Oh yeah, I can see it from here. Yeah. Which is a little, which worries me a little bit. That's not good, because I didn't hit that hard. There's a line no. there, yeah. line there. That's right. The thrust landed in there and put something in huh. there. That's, that's odd because the, uh, the Spez yeah, fencing masks oh yeah, there. You two. don't have any, yeah. any sign of damage from, from that kind of hit. Yeah, true. Oh, that's... That's not good. No, that's, that's a little con disconcerting. Because that was not super hard. No, that was, that that was, was not, not tournament. Not even I, tournament. I was going to say, that was not tournament level. No. Huh. I, I have concerns now. Yeah, me too. I, I was thinking this should be a lot safer and sturdier than a standard fencing mask well, because it it's... It feels like it absorbs a lot more of the force. Yeah. I took a couple of hits earlier off camera with this thing and it felt fine. Yeah. It's shallow dense, but it's... I wouldn't expect from hits like that, I wouldn't expect any. I'm just going to rotate this a little bit in the hopes that it'll show up. Oh, there it is. I think I can see it in the, on the screen. So there is a little bit going on already. Oh, I can see that from here. Yeah, that was a medium power's work. Should turn in a little bit. Yeah. That is a substantial dent. Yeah. From the front here, like that. Yeah, like that. You can really see that collapsed side. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Sorry about your mask, Scal. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll keep you safe, but it I've just won't be here. I put a notch in yeah. there. And that was tournament level power. Mm -hmm. Power level of trying not to injure someone. So in conclusion, the current version of the tournament mask from Leon Paul is well designed and protects well, but has durability issues. I'm assuming it's made of mild steel, so stainless steel might be a good option, not only for ease of maintenance, but also because it would be harder, or perhaps some type of hardened carbon steel. As it is, the perforated steel just doesn't hold up well against even medium-powered strikes. 
So keep an eye on those masks. I'm guessing there will be improved versions. And I hope you found the video interesting. Thanks for watching and have a good one, folks.